so it begins the so the so-called well I would, no not so-called but the sequel series so to speak a fairy tale 100 year quest a series made by both uh, Hiromashima as well as uh, another person Atsu Atsu, Atsu I Ueda so how long will this manga be no idea but uh, there will be a question though what will we dive into this will this be yes further complaints from haters or will some questions actually be answered Given Fairytale shtick, no, I don't think there will be answers, but, uh... <sighs> part of me hopes so. Especially, uh, part of me actually wishes that God Anksaram would be the main antagonist in this uh, sequel series so we finally could get what was coming to him. But nah, that is, um... That is very, uh, unlikely. The Angry Enemy Fan here to bring you this chapter of the 100 year quest, chapter 1. First of all, we see actually a flashback we have not seen before from the year X633. Uh, great destruction was coming and a wizard man weeping as he said, uh, Magic is now evil power, they must be protected, the mages must join forces. The first mage in the guild in history of the world came into being. After Seraph and Akronologia is finally defeated, though, it seems that there will be something else. Either way, the first uh, of this chapter uh, does show some nice cover pa color page. Also, finally reveals when the final season of Fairy Tale is gonna premiere. It appears it's gonna premiere in October. Oh, I was gonna wait forever. Either way, new recruits happens to Fairy Tale, but uh, of course, then. Fairytale scares them away with their things. First is an arrogant man who claims he's gonna be the master, but then Luxus just looks, scares him away, and also says that uh, those who badmouth on the guilds is not welcome here. And this scares away also the little boy who feels like this is not relaxed at all. However, the only one who does not go away is Toka, who is actually revealed to be. <laughs> A Natsu fangirl. <laughs> or at least we don't know if she's gonna keep on running away. Uh, I mean, uh, oh, it's very likely. She, sorry about the yawning. I didn't sleep last night. Uh, well, not so much at least. It's not exactly known if she is gonna stay behind now that she hear that Natsu is not here. Wonder what Lu she is gonna say about this. Either way, um, Lu Juvia is of course not uh, glad that Grey left her, but well, apparently one year ago, Toka um, and Natsu met, at least according to her, something like um, a bandit was attacking her and he came uh, riding on a white stallion or a fire dragon. Which is actually <laughs> not true. Natsu is never, never riding a, a dragon nor a stallion. Although he did ride one when, well, you know, he and Lucy were gonna get grey. So uh, ever since that, uh, it seems that Toka fell in love with Natsu. And it seems that Natsu has been accepted in the 100 year quest. As we're switching to Team Natsu, who finally heads out into a place. It is actually um, <clears throat> and they are out to the place where Etherno is concealing into crystals big enough for the eyes to see as it falls on the ground. As um, as they all head towards the place where apparently the oldest guild in the world existed, Magia Dragon. And that's how they will accept the 100 year old year quest. Because they have come to the continent of Giltina, an unknown continent in neither Al Alactesia nor Ishkar. Uh, and it was there that a most ancient guild of Magia Dragon was said to exist. Mm. So, well, as Natsu was just happy, thinking we we're gonna be a dragon, Grey was pointing out where's the fair and fairy tale. And of course, well, Lelouchi was just pointing to herself right in front of you. 
And it's during this time, after, it's actually pretty strange that just after this manga has ended, that Elsa finally lampshades why a lot of uh, the guilds have mythical creatures' names. Not all of them, mind you, but some of them have. All of them, Sabertooth, Mermaid of Heel, and Lamia Scales are all reference to mythical creatures, but we never saw them in this manga and will very likely would not have it either way. Yeah, but apparently no one has ever completed that 100 year quest. Uh, and we even see a flashback back when Natsu was talking to Gildarts and saying what the 100 year was, was about, but he also warned him to enjoy the despair. So, but uh, Natsu proclaimed that when he is with his friends, he will not despair. Well, that is true. As long as they're together, nothing can stop them. Either way, they finally arrive at what is compared to look like the guild. A giant dragon statue and Magia Dragon. So, as they enter it, however, they are greeted with uh, no one. Because it's very empty. The one who greets them is, is the appearance of a dragon. Almost the same dragon that uh, was outside, although it has beard. Am I gonna make a bad bet and say that's the old wizard who said that all mages must work together? As he proclaims um, them the 99th hero, heroes, he calls himself El Elefseria, the dragon of law. Fulfill my wish, ye mages. And so, the nature of the world begins. Dragons were supposed to be extinct, so who the hell is he? I mean, um, granted, however, it's very unlikely he is a still-living dragon. Given to the fact that Magnia Dragon seems to be a completely abandoned guild, it's very likely it's a magic guild. It's very likely that this dragon is actually still here with lingering regrets. You know, it has to be here until the wish will be fulfilled. And that's the 100 year quest. It's pretty strange though that uh, Natsu and Co are the 99th hero. It's, uh, makes me wonder though who's gonna be the 100 if they're gonna fail this one. Either way, this manga kicks off. The art almost practically looks the same. Not, not so much changes. Although... Um, Although uh, there are some slight changes at all. After all, it's not just Hiromashima who writes this one. No. But we're diving into the 100-year-old quest. We saw some familiar faces from old. However, um, and we even saw that some tried to join Fairytale, but in the end, Fairytale's quirks are just too much for them. That's almost a little bit sad, but uh, it's Fairytale. It always works that way. It's pretty strange though that one wasn't uh, afraid of going, but in the end she is just, but she is revealed to be just as quirky as the other fairytale members. In the end, though, I think you need a quirky character to be able to wanted to live in fairy tale after all. Toka, huh? Will we see more of her? Or was this just a um, moon, one picture? After all, we do not know how long this one hundred year old quest manga is gonna be. Probably not that long. But then again, if I would have made one wish about Fairytale, I would have it would have been that An Anxeron would have been the main antagonist this arc, and so he finally could die for his sins. But no, I do not think that will happen. Still, though, are we now gonna dive into the history of guilds, why the guilds assembled, and more, more especially why was uh, there war and why were, blah, why was there so many who died back then is it possible that this dragon is that old man from many years ago well we cannot forget uh, from the scarlet despair although as much as people wants to forget her she was turned into a dragon by dragon slayer magic he could very well have been the same but we'll see i will review the 100 year old quest as much as i can so, uh, the anger in my fan here to bring you that. And besides any hate, give me the faults if you have any.